Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to another edition of In Ohio Country Today. We're at a beautiful, groundbreaking ceremony for one of our fine sponsors, Canning Equipment, in Greenville, Ohio. We can't be a part of Dark County or Greenville, Ohio, without running to your friend, my friend, our friend, Jim Beakey. Jim, how are you doing today? Um, just, just really smiles, all smiles today, Dan. I'll tell you, this is a very special day for Greenville and Dark County. Yeah, let's talk about that. I mean, you're, you've been in agriculture your entire life, and you know that this is, uh, this is one of the largest, uh, when it comes to agricultural receipts, uh, largest producers uh, as far as county-wise, uh, Dark County is in the state of Ohio. Well, what does it mean for the producers here and for the other businesses and the commercial businesses? Well, I, uh, obviously it means more accessibility to the best farm equipment around. And uh, as, as you know, and we just, you just mentioned, this is such a strong agricultural area, and uh, we want to keep it that way. And I can tell you from a personal standpoint, this is very special for me today because when I was a kid, I used to make hay on this ground because <laughs> my grandfather owned 200 acres here. And, of course, we were in the meatpacking business then. Right. And all, uh, so we, we farmed this ground here. And so that's what I did in the summertime partly is, is help work on the farm here. So I think it's very special. It's very sentimental for me to right. know that a major portion of this ground that as a kid I was involved in agriculture in is back to being a strong agricultural input into Dark County. The and, and you know what it's like to have a family business, a uh, business for generations and, and trying to meet the ever-changing needs of uh, the customers that are out there, but not only with new equipment, but with technology, and, and Koenig's been able to do that. Oh, it's, it's just incredible. And what's really been fun is I've known, I've known Ray Koenig for probably 30 years, <laughs> And, and it's just been fun for me to watch the growth of this family business. It's just special. Let's talk a little bit about what's happening in the State House. We're talking about economic development today with this beautiful facility that's going to be built here in Greenville. But uh, things are really happening throughout the state of Ohio, aren't they, Jim? There's no question about it. Uh, under the leadership of Governor Kasich and the legislature, we have uh, done a, a tremendous uh, service to the citizens by lowering the cost of doing business, lowering taxes, putting more money in people's pockets so that we are creating private sector jobs that are demanding more food, which comes back to Koenig, mm. equipment, pro providing equipment for the farmers. The farmers produce the food, we sell the food, we eat the food, it, and Ohio is growing. That's, it's just huge. And, of course, agriculture being the number one industry in Ohio, yeah. all this does is enhance that. You know, Jim, one of the things, too, that we want to keep in mind is the fact that when it comes to businesses uh, here in the state of Ohio, it's retaining businesses and getting those businesses to grow, not just bringing in new businesses to the state. Well, and, of course, this is a classic example of expansion of an existing business. They're building this big facility here because they've outgrown the current facility. That's what we want. Existing businesses growing, expanding, providing more jobs. Boom. That brings more people in. Jim, you spent a lot of years in Columbus, mm -hmm. and uh, I think you're still spending time trying to educate those people in Columbus that come from the, uh, what, let's call them the, uh, the urban areas that, that really don't understand agriculture. You know, what are some of the fights that you have to deal with or some of the uh, educational things that you have to explain to people in a city about what's really happening out on the farm? Well, the big thing that's happened, Dan, is every year where, each, where we get, every generation we get that far, far removed from the soil. And the folks in the city are, are ignorant. They're not, they're not dumb, they're ignorant. They don't know where food comes from. You go to big cities and they think uh, milk comes from the grocery store and, and everything else. So here's what we're doing. Uh, I don't know if you're aware of it or not, but starting this fall in, in Cleveland and Cincinnati, we're putting, they're, they're going to initiate 4-H in a, two elementary schools as a pilot project and 4-H instruction and 4-H clubs after school, in the school. And, and the elementary schools that are going to do that are going to feed into high schools that are going to start FFA. You heard Ray talking about their, their, their contribution to FFA and 4-H. We're going to start FFA and 4-H in, in Cleveland and Cincinnati. Well, whether it's on a local level or whether it's in a state uh, uh, representative or a state senate, uh, Jim Beakey's been there representing the, uh, the fine people of Dark County and uh, the Miami Valley for many, many years, and we're proud to have you there, Jim. Well, uh, it's, it's my privilege to represent the nicest people in the world, let me tell you. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Our guest has been Jim Beakey. We'll be back with more in Ohio Country today right after this.